Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Ann Jersey and welcome to my channel. Now in this video we are back with part one of the final of this build challenge. Two weeks ago I challenged you, the community, to build the most epic outpost space that you could come up with here in Stormworks. The rules were quite easy, just had to build a base within a build space area and that was it. Well, two weeks later, we've had over 30 creations that were submitted for this challenge. Now, in this video, we're going to be checking out the first five of those top 10 creations and see how they work here in the world of Stormworks and what features are hidden inside them, where we'll be following that with another video coming out later this week. But before we get started, if you are enjoying these videos, hit that like and subscribe button and don't forget the little bell icon to be notified my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. And why are you watching? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and what else you would like to see in my future videos. So I said, let's get straight into it and get started with the first creation. And starting off with the first creation, we have the Stormbreaker Outpost Research Base. This was submitted by AKS. Now you can see this is kind of like an oil rig platform. He said that um, this was built to be a like weather monitoring and wildlife monitoring station. Now you can see I'm actually just up in the helicopter and I'm going to use that to visit most of the creations um, today. It's just going to be a little bit easier. So we're just going to come and land over here. Now apparently this has got quite a few cool different features on there. Obviously we've got a helicopter pad that we're just about to land on any second now. Along with that is there is also a rib docking station apparently on this one. So let's just turn the helicopter off and let's see what we have. So yeah, so we have a... Okay, there goes the helicopter. Um, we have a rib docking station just over here. So that's pretty cool. So you can go and lift your rib up if you need to. We seem to have a refueling... Yep, a refueling station over here. So pump in, pump out. Uh, on the side looks like we have a crane. Yeah, so it looks like just a standard crane here. I can also go, can I go in and out at all? Possibly, maybe we just need some electricity. So maybe we need to get some breakers on. Uh, not much else on the outside. Seems like we have a door to go in. Uh, we have some like equipment that's stored around here. It looks like a something up at the top. So let's go up into here. Oh, wait, hold on. So we got a flashlight and then I guess we can turn it left and right. That's quite nice. Uh, let's go and get in here. So we have a activate emergency beacon. That's pretty cool. Humidity, rain, so weather. So you can monitor all your weather. That's nice. As he said, we also have a radio with a frequency. We have helipad lights, exterior lights, uh, light interior. We have, I'm guessing that's heat, heat. Yeah, thermostat heaters. Okay. Get the exterior lights off. We can go down and downstairs we have looks like quite a few things actually pretty cool so with the entrance with the actual lighting system here you can see those heaters scattered around uh and all the temperature gauges throughout a little kitchen here with a stove okay quite nice uh, we have a fridge it actually goes and opens that's pretty cool and then also a freezer goes and opens too nice little window here to look out and another kitchen light let's get these lights off uh, we have a toilet with a tap. Actually, nothing happens there. I'm still thinking we need electricity for some of these things, but I could, yeah, I think it could be wrong. Uh, what do we have inside here? So it looks like we have a cabin. Let's get the lights on. So a little cabin here, pretty straightforward. Another thermostat on the door. Uh, we have another cabin here. It's thermostat once again. Cool. Going down here, we have, there we go. So this looks like our generator system. So apparently it's meant to be auto starting. Let's just get manual start on, get our generator system on, because that's why I said I think that we need, is there a throttle lever? There isn't. Okay, um, what was it that wasn't turning on, or oh, the crane wasn't going and moving if I'm correct. Okay, and that was the only thing if I'm correct that wasn't actually, oh, and the tap, I wanted to check the tap. So that still doesn't put any water through there. Okay, interesting. I'm going to turn that manual off. Uh, we've got some more equipment, diving equipment. We have the lights and we have another door to go outside. So yeah, that's pretty much about it for the outside. I think there's also a area down below. There's the Stormbreaker Research Outpost. Pretty cool. Is that crane, can it actually go in and out? So like up and down. Okay, so... I don't know, it looked like it had a rail system in there, but I guess I'm wrong because I'm pressing all the keys and nothing is happening. So, okay, interesting. 
Uh, along with that, we have a way to go down. So underneath here, just a nice little platform. Oops, and yeah, you can jump off if you want to too. And then we can obviously go and climb back up. So yeah, so a nice little like oil rig platform research base, really quite nice. Um, it's got all the details, it's got everything you would expect on these bases. So yeah, really, really cool. Uh, let's go and move on to the next one. And moving on to the next one, we have the Arctic base that was submitted by Kobe. Now this looks really cool, um, definitely looking like an Arctic base here. Uh, we seem to even have a little helicopter that's been included with us, so it's quite nice. Um, I'm guessing this is our fuel tanks over here, so fuel supplies with some pumps. Uh, we have a little platform for the helicopter, which has got some lights on it, and it also looks like we have a refueling station for the helicopter. I'm not going to be checking out the helicopter, this wasn't part of the challenge to actually have a helicopter. We also have a fluid cannon, I'm guessing just in case your helicopter catches on fire. Um, <laughs> we have a helm, which is for the water cannon, okay. We have an entrance, so let's go and get inside. Okay, this is pretty cool. So, let's get the lights on. We have... What is this for? Is this for map? Okay, yeah, so it's a map table, cool. Um, some beds here, we also have a toilet with a push button and a push button, okay. We have some equipment down here. What do we have going down this way? So it looks like we have some type of like generator. It doesn't look like it's connected. Um, we have heating systems, some batteries. We have a top hatch, some equipment, some more bedding, some more lights and things. So let's go and open up this top hatch and see where this leads to. Okay, so this leads up on top and yeah, not much else up here, so that's fine. Cool, nice little top hatch there. I'm not sure what this is meant to be, but okay, cool. Uh, let's carry on going around. So we have, looks like our battery stores and what's down here? So a generator. Can I turn that on? Nope, okay, no electricity on that. So there we go, engine power, panel power. And then I'm guessing we can turn the generator on. Yep, there we go. Okay, cool. So a nice little generator in there. It's quite useful. You can see the output of power that we're getting from it. Uh, we have the outside on either side. And then we've got another like room here. So it looks like an equipment room. We have a... Not sure what that is. Medical and then... Radio with a push to talk. Uh, nothing actually comes up on that screen. No, okay. Uh, we also have a door to go outside. Yep, door to go outside. Quite cool. Okay. Lovely detailing. He's got a really nice little detailing on there. Um, this top little section here, I don't think that is anything up there. This looks like a walkway. Same goes with around there. And then we have... Ooh, so this is the radio tower. Power. Can we... What's... Wait, is this an elevator? He's got an elevator. Wow, okay. I wasn't expecting to see an elevator. Uh, let's go and jump on that. Let's go up and uh, we have a light and so like a little observation area so you can go and see everything that's pretty cool a lot of solar panels obviously very useful yeah nice space um got some really nice detailing i like the little separate rooms in here the lift is an unexpected surprise uh, i said i'm not checking out the helicopter because that wasn't part of the challenge um but yeah really really cool little aspect space definitely something i'd like to come across while i'm out in the world of stormworks so let's go and move on to the next creation. And moving on to the next one, we have the Crusoe Shipwrecked. This is a one that was submitted by Williams. Now, looks really cool. I love the idea of a whole like shipwreck kind of base that you've made on a island. Really quite nice. You can see I've just placed it up here in the Arctic on like this little shelf here. So I'm hopefully it's half place that is not going to actually impact how it works. But yeah, really quite nice. I love the detail and obviously it looks very old and rusty which is really quite nice. Uh, let's go and jump on it. Let's see what we have. So going up to the main deck here, seems like we have winch and winch island pumps. So I'm guessing it's for refueling and recharging. Uh, we also have a crane. Can that be... Uh, there we go. So we have a crane seat that we can actually go and move here. So you can actually get cargo and things inside there. Uh, not much else here at the front. Just looks like a rusted old ship, uh, which is quite cool. It adds to the charm of the ship. Uh, we won't go down just yet. We obviously have the helm in there. What did you have up here? Okay, nothing up here. So kind of like in this observation deck. We have the little helm, or some, what was it, at least. So a little radio that you can go and use. 
a uh, little weather station here, which is quite nice. Uh, heat and lights, exterior, you've even got navigation lights. I don't know what you'll use that for. Uh, throttle, doesn't really do anything because the ship is shipwrecked. Um, but that's cool. I like that. It's nice detailing. Uh, let's close that door off and let's go in. Let's go up. Let's see what we have here. So just like some funnels and things um, towards the rear of the ship. Just the back cargo deck. So you guess you, yeah, you could land a helicopter, I guess, on the back here. Enough space. Or store some cargo or anything. I like that idea, really. Let's go and get into this door. So we have a doorway to go down. I'm guessing that's lights. Yep. We have our little, like, heaters. So he's using the funnels like a heater. That's pretty cool. A medical bed. Let's carry on going down. Uh, we have a door, which leads us into underneath the ship. We'll get some lights on. As you can kind of like see that exterior, that's quite nice. So we have doors on here. So where is, so this is a toilet. Okay, quite a big toilet. Nice. Uh, and we've got another door that goes through to, I'm guessing a, like a generator room. So all of our lights, generator, yep. And stoke the boiler. So you've got like a boiler pressure temperatures there. Quite nice. Uh, let's carry on going through. So another door here. So this is kind of like your kitchen. So he's got burners. He's got an oven with an oven light. Nice little kitchen. Let's carry on going through and light again. I'm guessing some cabins. Yep, so some cabins here and some more cabins in there. What is we have? More cabins. So and this one actually has got a hole. So you would kind of, I should know you wouldn't freeze because you got a heater right there. Uh, another cabin in there. And we've got some lockers. Nicely detailed lockers though. And we can even go further down. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, so then we get to like, I'm guessing this is like the cargo area. That's cool. Oh, we can even go further down that way. I'm going to go check that out in a few seconds. Um, so yeah, like a little cargo hold in here. Let's carry on going down here. Let's see what he has. So this is kind of like underneath the ship. And then can we go down there? Okay, so this is kind of like half in the water because that's how I spawned it. That's cool. I like how like the water's going into this area. Ooh, this is cool. And then this is completely under the ship. So then he's got, can I get through here? There we go. This is like the old motor or engines. And then we also got some circuit breakers here. I don't know if they do anything. Doesn't look like it. Uh, and then a pump here also. Don't know what the pump would do. Oh, it's for the boiler. Okay. Yeah, but that's really cool. I would love to see this area made use of a little bit more. Like fill this up with some more detailing. Uh, I don't know what though, but yeah this is a really cool concept i like the idea of having a shipwreck and how the water like how i've moved, placed it here with the water coming through it um you can really kind of make a nice cool base with this so yeah definitely a really cool idea and a great concept something uh, really out the box and something quite different um it's a really good one on this let's go and move on to the next creation and moving on to the next one, we have the Arctic Lake Outpost. This one was submitted by Josef Stalin and a few other content creators that worked on this project together. Now, you actually have to swim across the frozen lake to get here, um, which is, yeah, fair enough if you've got a vehicle or something. But if you don't, you're swimming in ice cold water and probably going to freeze to death. Um, but that's fine. It seems like he's got a helicopter already included. And quite a nice looking helicopter to be fair. Uh, I won't be testing the helicopter out as that is not part of the challenge to build any extra vehicles. It's just the main base itself. Um, so yeah, it looks like he's got it on some rails and things. So that's pretty cool. Um, along with that is just some lights. And then we seem to have like this radar with a ton of radios on it. Um, and some solar panels too. We'll check, we'll see what that does. So we have some circuit breakers and we have like, I'm guessing a fluid. Yeah, some fluid anchors here. Obviously those can't get connected to anything uh, at the moment unless until we get the major update. Um, so not useful just yet. Uh, we have the airlock door we can go and open. So that goes and opens up here. I'm, it's quite nice it's airlocked because obviously if you get like waves or anything that come over it, um, obviously no water will come through. Uh, we have some equipment down here. We have a fluid port, I'm guessing for pumping water out. Um, some fluid sensors. We have a override unlock door. Okay. You can actually lock your friends in here. Cool. Um, we then have a, also an unlock and locked problem. Uh, we can go down. This is leading me down like a rabbit hole here. I don't kind of understand, but let's follow it. Um, okay. So we have all the power. 
Let's get that all on. We have... What is this? So this is like a link system. Radio transmit, push button, didn't do anything. Erasing your composite. So it must be like a triangling system of some sort. But I don't see... I got the transmit, but I don't actually have anything to turn the screens on as far as I can see. Okay. I'm sure I was meant to get all this on. Yeah. Okay, I don't know. Uh, let's move on from there. So we have a radio over here. We also have a little kitchen. We, is there no lights in here? I would have thought there would have been... Hold on. Okay, so we do have some lights. Not the strongest ones. Screen is still not on. Okay, don't know what's going on there. That's fine, I do need my flashlight. Uh, we have a little light or a little door that goes into here. Ah, uh, there we go. Power to main battery. Let's get this engine on and running. Perfect. Now we got some power, I think. Yep, and you can see we got some monitors on. Can we get this monitor on? Still not. Okay. Oh, we got some monitors down here. So it looks like we have a radar at the top. We got our map screen with wind speed, fog, etc. Nice little dining room table. This was the generator room. We've checked that out. Uh, we have a clock and RGB lights. You can actually see under the water here. That's quite nice. See all the fish swimming past. Um, seems like we have another airlock door. Where does that go? What? So fill empty. Okay, so this is this is where you can like go and put a submarine in. That's pretty cool. Got some heaters in here. I don't know why we need some heaters in the this area but it's still cool um can we can we fill it where's the fill button there uh it's going up yeah yeah yep there we go as you can see there it's not filling up so the whole room is going to be underwater soon and then i'm guessing we would close that door open that door then close etc okay so smart very cool i'm gonna empty it um that's nice what is all of this stuff going on here i'm guessing some cabins let's see yeah so like a little little bed with a window monitor window to something okay some equipment also need need oh, quite useful another equipment room in there medical nice and i'm guessing the same above oh something's buzzing I don't know what the buzzing was. They found something on the radar. Uh, another equipment room, another cabin with equipment, another cabin with equipment, and another cabin with equipment. Cool. So what what is it finding? Don't know. But okay. Cool. Nice base. Very once again quite interesting and out of the box, having it all underwater. Um, good job. Yeah, good job. Very uh, kind of like a rabbit hole to get out of this. Um. I almost feel like I'm going to a bad place when I go down there. Like how like we're about to get murdered or something. But um yeah, cool creation. I like it. Ooh. Um It looks cool. As I said, uh you know I'm guessing if you were traveling here you would be coming here on the helicopter. Um but I don't know, maybe having like a little life raft or something just in case, because swimming in this ice cold water, if you were playing in like survival mode, it wouldn't be great. Um, but yeah, awesome creation. Let's go and move on to the next one. So we're just coming up to the last one for this video. And this is the cozy outpost that was done by Marconi. Now, looks really quite cool. It's a little bit of a way to go from the, everything else here on the Sawyer Islands. So I'm just going to go and land it and then we're going to have a nice look at it. So let's go and get this down. Uh, let's kill our engines. There we go. Hopefully this time it won't take off. Um, cool this looks really quite nice lovely detailing especially with the colors on the outside um looks like it's got kind of like a windmill on the side i'm guessing maybe infinite generator yeah it must be okay cool um actually i'm quite interested let's get some wind on um and see if he's managed to do that so wind is up now doesn't look like anything's happening maybe crank the wind up to 100 percent Yep, it's moving and it's turning well, okay. It's 
producing electricity. Cool. So yeah, Kazi little outpost here. Uh, let's go up and let's see what we have. So lovely little exterior. Anything around the back? No. Okay. So a nice little exterior. We can go. We got a little bench here. We've received a reward apparently for arriving here. Uh, let's go and get inside. So we have some lights. So let's get some lights on. I'm going to turn the window off actually. Uh, okay. And so we have a little lounge in here with a, I'm guessing, DVD screen. No, camera. Okay, nice. Uh, can we actually sit on these? We can't. Okay. Mm, bummer. Got a little vehicle inside here. Okay, I'm not going to be checking out the vehicle once again, just like the other creations, not part of the challenge. Uh, we have a ladder. Where does this go? A roof access, I'm guessing. Uh, can I go up the ladder again? Crouch, climb up again. And there we go. And okay, what is up here? Hold on. So we have a turn on, turn off lights, turn on monitors. So like a CCTV system. Interesting. Uh, we got a toilet and a cabin. Okay, nice. What's that? It's just a random paint block. Okay, quite nice. I wasn't expecting all this to be up here. Um, and I like the door open. Yeah. All on the slow side, but yeah, working 100%. Go check it on the outside. Yeah, nice little vehicle hidden there. Cool, let's go and close that off. And then what else do we have? So down here we have a toilet with a mirror. <laughs> That's quite nice. Um, we have a bedroom inside here. Um, just another light and another bedroom and a, another toilet okay why we need two toilets but okay fair enough uh we have a walkway to go up we have some more lights oh that's a bright a uh, little part little leaf there and what is that okay uh looks like we have a oven that actually opens and closes with a option to turn it on and so, oh so we've got a whole bunch of like yeah, you can see here there's like mission mission editor stuff spawned in. Uh, we got a little like couch area and that's pretty much about it, I think. Yeah, that's really cool. Wait, there's an upstairs. We've checked the upstairs area out. Why do, wait, that doesn't make sense. Is there more upstairs area that I missed? What is? What's all that? If the stairs go up there, what is all this area? Hmm. So you see it stops here. That isn't the whole... No, it's not because it stops just over there. Is it just empty? I'm going to third person this. Yeah, it's empty. Okay. There's just a camera in there. Huh. Okay, interesting. Um, yeah, pretty cool. I didn't see any generators or anything for electricity. The hidden inside here. No, is it around the back? No, it's not. Okay, um, I'm guessing it just goes and gets power from from that. And that goes the generator there. So that must just power the batteries. And then you can see, yeah. So you can actually see if that's getting in power. So if we were to get the weather back up, is that actually juicing any power? On, it's turning. It is too, it's going up. Nice, good job. Infinite generators are always possible in Stormworks. Yeah, a uh, lovely creation. Let me just get this window off. Um, a lovely creation, a definitely nice one to, you can see that camera going around with some spotlights. Um, definitely a nice one to end off part one. And then, yeah, back on to part two with the next video where we'll be checking out the next five creations that were most voted for. I'm looking forward to that. We've had some amazing ones here. But um, yeah, I think that's a great place to end this episode off with. Let me know in the comments which one of these five you thought was the best. Uh, and then obviously wait till we get to part two video where we'll see the next five top 10 creations that were voted for. But in the meantime, as I said, let me know in the comments below which one yours was, was your favorite and what ideas you thought that were really cool and actually stood out from the rest of them. But until then, I hope you enjoyed the video and found some entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.